me and today we're gonna be trying out some more hacks the food kind you fool what are you doing that's not how you eat wings oh it's too saucy takes hair clips out of my hair to eat the wings hair clip licking good I really doing this on a Tuesday night so I just woke up from crying myself to sleep and I post made it some wings wham bam shazam already got honey barbecue in my fingernails Ew, I can't believe I'm sacrificing my hair clips for this hack. This is the last shred of hair you will ever clip on to okay wing time probably shouldn't have done that Okay, so we can either use one big one You know what it's, it's firmly grasping it It's a little wobbly these wings are right. Mmm, okay Okay, so if it unclips, don't panic. Just clip it back on. Delicious. I think we're gonna use the double clips for this kind. What are these called? Flats? You got the drumsticks and then you got these. I like drums. The superior wing meat. You know what? I think this works a lot better. I just remembered I asked for extra crispy and this ain't it. You know, whenever I eat wings, I just take the hit and wash my hands like seven times after I'm done until the smell is gone. I mean, all right, this is working. We're doing it. Would I rather just use my hands? Yeah. I mean, I would even put on some cafeteria gloves and it would have been fine. You know, I could probably wash these. <laughs> Maybe she was born with it. Wait, is that what I think it is? Catfishing level 100. Took a pan, posed in front of it. You ain't Optimus Prime. That's illegal. Hey guys, today we're making some cake. This is a cooking hack after all. Does this pan make me look thick? Does this work? Not really. Would you fall for this? No. You're a guy, of course you would. <laughs> <laughs> look at it in the, in the reflection. It looks legit. Like Bugs like, yeah, like because it's dark and it matches, but you gotta get it really. Yeah, when you put it in a lot, it looks stupid. Oh, if I put it up, it looked like a shelf booty. The bug's life. And if you don't believe me, mm. so take a bottle cap, not only the cap, but we take in the spout, attach it to your fruit of choice. Oh, are we gonna rob this poor lime out of its juice? You see, some fruit they, they don't want to give it up too easily, like you squeeze those bad boys. They're still keeping them juice hostage. So we're gonna attach it and then glue. Now you can drink straight from the fruit. Wow. Lime juice. It don't get more organic than this. That seems like such a waste of time when you could have just like forced all of the juice out with your bare hands. Ain't nobody got time for this. Would you like to donate your body to science? I'll take that as a yes. Got my bottle cap. Careful, very pointy and sharp. We're gonna round out the edges. Keep in mind, instead of doing all of this, I could have just squeezed the dang lemon. I'm gonna trace over its holes. And I could probably just push this in and it would be attached, right? No, that would be too easy. We're gonna make a hole. We're gonna put in a new back door. She's already leaking. Attach my cap. Whoa. Whoa, she in there good. Ooh, wait, what happened to it? It just sucked it up. Do I even need to glue this? Okay, I can't really undo this bottle. Cap. Okay, got it open. I mean, this is a very ripe lemon and it's got a little juice So you have your juice on the go Tangy now the ultimate test is how much juice could I get out of this bad boy? It's almost like I could have cut a hole in the lemon and done the same thing. It just looks cooler this way. <laughs> Look at the state of this lemon. <laughs> this is how I feel right now. Dare me to drink this straight up. No, I'm too scared. <laughs> Exfoliating my insides. Oh! Five Minute Crafts is telling me I can just microwave mac and cheese. I don't have to get any pans dirty for the stove. So in just two minutes, just water and pasta. I've been doing this wrong my whole life. It's three in the morning. Mac and cheese sounds so good right now. We're gonna do this in a measuring cup because I want everybody to see what's going on. What is the pasta situation? So I'm gonna be using elbows. They're the smallest pasta I have. I don't wanna to put too much because I'm afraid it won't cook. So we're just gonna pour water, mix it up. We're gonna pop this in the microwave for two minutes. Oh wow, so I put it in for two minutes and look, I really hope it cooked though. Ooh, it's pretty soft. Okay, it actually cooked it, but like look at the water situation right now. You hear that? That's good pasta. So we're gonna pour some milk. I don't know how much. Put some cheese up in here. Whoa, that's a lot of cheese, but okay. It ain't easy being cheesy. Mix that bad boy up. Being the gourmet queen that I am, I'm gonna put some 
salt and pepper. Freshly grated. Mm. Okay, okay, this is looking like a nice snack. We're gonna pop it in the microwave for another minute or so. A few moments later. Well, I just popped this bad boy out of the microwave and it might have to go back in because it's still really milky. Watery, this is pretty watery. I put too much in. Ooh, she cheesy. Ooh. Okay, that's good. The pasta is cooked perfectly al dente. Mmm, I don't like the cheese I use. I use Mexican because that's all I had. If this was with cheddar, mm, would have been so bomb, but I'm still eating it and it's delicious. I didn't know you could do this. That's a good hack. So on my other channel, I tried this and it actually worked. <laughs> You know what? I want to try it again. Because last time I did a corn hack, it sucked. Failed. Disgraced the entire cornfield. Big moment in history. Man, I didn't even hear a single pop. It's steaming though. But we are back with a hack. You know, after having this flat iron for like seven years now, I think this might be the hack to ruin it. You see, last time I tried to microwave popcorn, it didn't work. It was the wrong brand. Or maybe wrong species, I don't know. But I bought this corn. It's just like dried, hard corn. And this is the popcorn making kind. So you see, we're just gonna try to do this with a flat iron. I guess we're just gonna chill here and see what happens. I'm scared of the pop. It's not enough heat for you, my good corn children. Firmly grasp it. Good. You know what? The same thing that happened to the other guy is gonna happen to you. Mom, get the camera, I heard a pop, y'all. Look, look, it's going. Y'all see this, y'all. <laughs> nice. Is that it? Oh no, no, it keeps going, it keeps going! I'm making a dang mess out of my microwave. Look at all the children leave the farm. <gasps> it's still going, it's still twitching. I'm so good popcorn. How do you like it? It's good. Popcorn straight off the cob. Who knew? I feel like all my dreams are coming true, including eating popcorn out of a microwave at six in the morning. Delicious. Here's how you make a super fancy chocolate dessert. Take a printed photo, put some parchment paper over it, and then trace over it with melted chocolate. Oh, they're making a butterfly, so they're gonna bend it in a book. Oh, yeah, nice. Looks fancy. We like fancy. My printer, you know the one that I bought for a video, is not working. I could either make a chocolate Barilla logo or maybe gluten-free trace over it. That's lame. So I found a Louis Vuitton bag in my pantry. Oh, this is perfect because I can put the parchment paper over it and just trace over it. Of course, I got my Hershey's Special Dark. We're gonna melt this. I'm just gonna put it in a plate and melt it in the microwave. I'm going to spoon my microwave chocolate in the baggie. Probably do this with my right hand. Oh no, already I messed up. Okay, this sucks with the logo. Okay, you see my Louis is very unfortunate. Louis Vuitton, more like Louis trash. Okay, we're gonna do these. Little star, flower, I don't know what they are. Another one. Okay, the LV came out pretty decent, so I wanna do another one. Chocolate is quite hard to control. I'm gonna do me. Oh no, we're running out of chocolate. It's me with the doo-doo hair. Oh no, it doesn't want to squirt out anymore. <laughs> Look what I did. <laughs> and now we put it in the freezer. And you can eat your art. So my Louis Vuitton chocolate is done. Oh, it's very flimsy. Maybe because I use a bad quality chocolate, but. It's like melting in my hand as I picked it up. There you go, it's melted again after I left it in the freezer for like an hour. Oh, but here's the true masterpiece. This is just sad. <laughs> what even is this? Okay, this will only survive when it's picked up with tongs and put directly onto ice cream. Y'all can't even survive a minute out in the real world. LV. More like eat me. <laughs> just kidding, I had enough chocolate. This sucks, but it does work. 
Potato hack. Put a potato on a stick and then cut it while swirl. Oh, is this how they make the spiral potato? I always wondered how they do this. Because in Japan, they have this and then they deep fry it and then they wrap it in cinnamon sugar. Oh, and you just plop it off the stick. Oh, this is try worthy. Bro, I would actually peel a potato for this. So my oven's been on the past two hours waiting for me to do this potato hack. This is Georgina. We're gonna peel her. She's a little green. Y'all see that? I remember watching an episode of some kid's show when I was a kid and they were freaking out about a green potato. Oh, it was a simpler time. Today, Georgina is going to die at the stake. So they did this a very specific way and I hope I'm skilled enough as a home cook to be able to swirl cut this potato. Oh no, it appears I'm not. Okay, we can try it again. So I'm trying to swirl it as I'm cutting and it's not really working. It feels like I'm doing it. This is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, now we separate it, right? Oh my God, this is not working. I did something wrong. What, this is the whole piece that I didn't even cut? This sucks. I did something very wrong because it did not swirl how it was supposed to swirl. All I wanted was a perfectly separated potato. Man, Georgina didn't die for this. You know, we're gonna salvage what we can, douse it in olive oil, and I'm gonna season mine with cinnamon sugar. And usually you would deep fry these, but I ain't got enough deep frying oil, so we're just gonna bake it in the oven. It's not a cinnamon bun, what are you doing? Trust me, it's delicious. We're gonna pop it in the oven. Eventually. It's been cooking for a while. Ooh, I'm gonna have to flip it. Hello, Georgina, are you ready to eat? Man, she's falling apart. She wasn't nearly as cute as I thought it was gonna be. I thought was recording and it wasn't and I ended up eating half my potato so this kind of sucks I don't know why I mean it doesn't suck but it's nothing special instead of putting all this love and effort into this potato and having it cook for an hour I could have just threw a potato skin and everything in the microwave for like seven minutes and had a perfectly good big potato okay you know what that was a really good bite that I just had I think I just needed more cinnamon sugar but this is okay it's pretty good I like it was it worth it all the time and effort no and I stayed up all night doing these hacks oh, I'm really hungry rest in peace Georgina was a delicious potato. This next hack I always wanted to try because I love Nerds Rope. And when I found out that you could do it at home with gummy bears and a thing of Nerds, I was like, okay, we have to try this. I mean, it would make sense to use just the red one, so it's red, but I'm just gonna like mix these up. Will these melt in the microwave? Like we gonna have no problem with the melting process? Well, I got my gummy bears. Y'all are really gonna suffer. A few moments later. This is what melted gummy bears look like. But what? do they feel like? Ooh, wow. All that glucose syrup. We're gonna take the nerds, force them in. <gasps> It's so stretchy. It's all fun and games until it gets stuck in your nail beds. And there you have it, gourmet nerds. Rope. Mmm. Okay, okay. I do like the original better, just because the gummy part is really hard. I think it adds to the appeal. You gotta work fast with this, because it just like hardens. Ooh, you see how stretch. Ooh. That's what gummy bear insides look like. No, it's sticking. The original edible slime. I just wanna go ham on this and just scoop it all up. Oh, don't Delicious. So apparently you've been eating noodles wrong your whole life. Take a fork, cut it, and attach it to a spoon. So now you have a foon. I would have said spork, but that's the other way around. That's a fork and a spoon, but this is a spoon and a fork. But there's the whole entire fork. What about the glue? Is this really necessary to eat your ramen noodles with? Oh no! I just stopped showing things to the camera because there's a 95% chance that it'll spill. Okay, so I can't eat this because it's not gluten free, but I made me some ramen noodles because it's all I had. If you're eating noodles like this, you're wrong! It smells so good. I can't eat it, but I can smell it. So we're gonna take the scissors, yeet them. Man, why is it so hard to cut? You don't wanna go without a fight. Oh! Surgically attach it to the back of a spoon. I have my glue gun handy every time I eat, everywhere I go. So that's not a problem. We're gonna attach it. Maybe I should have attached it the other way. Either way, we have a foon. This is awkward and I don't want to use it. We're gonna let the foon dry. I'm gonna add some more glue just in case it wants to act up and escape. So this is what we're working with. I don't like how it like protrudes at a weird angle. But there's no other way to do it unless I did it the other way. Oh, that's probably better. It's not sticking though. Future technology right here. 
Wow, this needs to stay. It's not sticking. I mean, even if it did stick, how would I scoop up the soup? The fork is kind of awkward. This is really awkward. I don't like it. You know, I'd rather just eat like this than have to use this. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know which one of these you would actually try. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and the Make sure you turn on notifications so you know when I upload. Click, click, and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.